Hello guys, what is up? It is me, Joe. Welcome back to another episode of Banjo Tui. Now, sorry about the last episode. I accidentally recorded in a wrong format again. It's one of the downfalls about this program is that every time you launch it, it kind of goes back to the it, like it goes back to its old settings, which I'm not sure why it does that, but again, I forgot to change it. So it's like whatever. So, what's done is done. I can't really do anything about it. We can, however, get Banjo's move if we wanted to, which I'm going to go for the train and then I'm gonna. Hmm, upper area. Yeah, let's go to the upper area because that's where I need to go. So, um. We can get the move for Banjo, which is what I'm gonna try to do. So, let's see. Let's do that right now, actually, because the move for Banjo is, like, right there. And I think if I, even if I wanted to, like, if I wanted to, I could. Did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Did not mean... What? <laughs> okay, just... <laughs> wow. Just kill me, why don't you? So, that was... Don't... That did not happen. So, erase that. So, let's go over here. Hopefully, I don't even remember what I was saying, actually. Why didn't I just jump down? That's what I needed to do. Man, these unintentional deaths, I don't even know what's happening. I'm doing exactly what I didn't want to do, which is jump over these things, but... I'm feeling like a pro, although I'm not. Obviously, what you just witnessed two seconds ago, you can obviously tell that I'm not a pro. So let's do this, we have just enough notes. So this will this move will actually enable me to get another jiggy, so I'm I'm already gonna be able to get two jiggies within a couple minutes, probably like three, four minutes, not exactly sure, but I think that's too much. Skip that again, so what you wanna do is you wanna hold Z and then press the C down and pretty much you go into this. And when you're in this mode, you sink to the bottom of the any floor, like any liquid, and you can um, hit- whoa! <laughs> I thought I had Kazooie, sorry about that. I was trying to hover over that. So, pretty much what you can do is, you can, like, sink to the bottom of the water, or whatever you're going in, and you can hit switches that are underwater, you can do all this cool stuff. But, the thing, actually this is perfect. Because now we're going to be right next to the spot where we actually need to be in order to get this thing. So there's a little, I don't know, pond here. Do not, don't want to do that. So if you do the move here, go down. I don't know how the water doesn't go underneath Banjo's... Like, obviously that's open, right? Under where Banjo... The, the backpack's open, that's all. And the water should be going in, but apparently it doesn't. So if we pre if if I were to let go of Z, I will I would have like whoa slow down. <laughs> if I let go of Z, like I would be warped to the to like right here. Well, warped. I would be like pushed or whatever. So now what I want to do is I want to go over to the train station, which should not be that far from here. I think this is where the yeah this is where this what, dude. What was that? Okay, you know what? You know what? This w this is gonna be faster. Why didn't I just do this from the beginning? I don't even know. But there's been way too many unintentional deaths here, and I, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> this should not be how this goes, but where's the train station? Where is station of the trains? It's not under, it's not, yeah, it's not there. I think it's above us, maybe? These hands are the bane of my existence. Get out. Yeah, you better... <laughs> you die. So there's a train station over here. Let's do this. Jump. Miss. Maybe I did that intentionally. Maybe I didn't. You know what I forgot to do? <laughs> I forgot to get he um, health extensions, which... I'm blaming that, I'm blaming that for my deaths, because that's probably why I keep on dying. Which is stupid. Should have got those health extensions like ages ago. But me being stupid, I didn't. <laughs> I just didn't. So let's go to the go pad because we want to go places. Go Diego, go. Let's go to the Hailfire Peaks. Ice side. Yes. 
I have always wanted to go to the ice side, and I've always wanted to watch a long cutscene that's unskippable. The best thing about this game, man. Nothing better. So, I want to skip this. I want to skip. Why can't I? I'm pressing A, I'm pressing start, I'm pressing B. I'm, enter I'm entering the Konami code over here. Okay, that's a Minjo, at least I think it is. The only reason why you want to come over here is because there is a Jiggy. A Gi. There is Jig. He's Jiggy with it. Man, this is like really weird because like there's train tracks up there which suggests su suggests that like you were able to go up there at one point until they did. I don't even know. Like, see, it splits off over here and then it's like. It's just weird. If I go in that water, will I, like, lose health? I wonder. Wait, yeah, that's a Jinjo. It has to be a Jinjo, because it's, like, white, and I already have all the white Jinjos. That's uh, another way you can actually tell if they're Minjos, because if you already have all that color, then you'll be like, Dude, I already had that color. So, let's see. How many stuff, how many things I have. So, four. Hmm. That's only four. I guess it is. <laughs> so the other Jiggy that I'm thinking of is the one that we get um, from Boggy. You again, White Jinjo. So that White Jin... The Jinjo, not that White Jinjo. The fish that I have, I didn't mean to do that. Shouldn't this water be like freezing or something? Hmm, so now what we do is we go back to the, the fire side. Which is really a pain, but oh well. So let's just go to the fire side, I guess. With awesome caveman, not caveman, um, explorer dude thing. So let's do this. So we are here on the ice side, at the ice side at last. Now there's claw claimer boots up there, I didn't really show it. But we can't really do anything about that. But we can do something about this guy. Should I do that? No, I don't want to risk it, because my luck is going to get bad. It's going to be really bad. I'm going to not be able to do that. So what we want to do is get the... Come on, dragon. Shoot at me. Do it. He's not going to do it. Okay, now he's going to do it. Thank you. So you want to stand by this guy, similar to the building that I stood by, and... Shoot. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Dude, seriously? Oh, okay. Just decide now to shoot. So you go over here. I didn't mean to skip that dialogue, but... Dude! Um... It's supposed to... <clears throat> okay, finally. Jeez, I don't know why that took so long. So he just got wrecked. With his big toe that he's so proud of. It's even bigger. Poor enormous foot, where's the first aid kit? It's nowhere, cause the first aid kit wasn't around back then. So there's... Really, this claw clamber boots, how am I already dead? This is like, um, there's claw clamber boots which you can't get to the next world. I'm... How... I'm really surprised that I don't have notes. Like, why am I missing a lot of notes? 100... 80... I'm missing 20 from witchy world. Yeah, I, I have like almost all the notes. Like, why am I getting the spots where I don't have enough notes? I didn't know. I like I didn't know the game cut it that close. But okay. I I just remember being able to get all the moves like without a, much of a problem. Like I've never had it to where I got to a, a jam jars with the improper amount of notes. So what we want to do is we want to go over to this igloo, which I didn't show, now I'm showing it. And this is where Boggy lives. Bogey. Bogus. Bogus Boggy. So he just farted. Nice. Hello, Boggy. Take a look at my new widescreen TV. It's got loads of features. I, I bet it does. It has, actually. 100 hertz scanning Dolby. What the heck? Uh, okay. Dude, is this the future? 
Oh, sorry, but it got no line. Wait, it's it's got no something. You just try to eat a scarf. Big hot fish would be great. Well, how convenient, because we ju we're just gonna throw a giant fish inside your mouth, and now we just killed Boggy. Stop farting, you nasty thing. What was that? Well, that fish must have swallowed a jiggy. Well, if it's not edible, I don't want it. Fair enough, Boggy. I'll add it to our collection. Be my guest. I got stuff to watch. Ellipsis. Okay. <laughs> I did that because of how slow the dialogue is. It's like annoying. No. Thanks for all your help, Banjo. Bujo. So we go over here. There's a honeycomb encased in ice. I'm going to break. And I'm going to show this just for the heck of it. Um, if you go down here, you can actually see the kids and the cool throwback to the last game. What is this? Okay, that's a sled. And over here, yeah, this is also another thing. This is a sled. This is the sled from the last game, which is cool. There's a Banjo-Kazooie bed thing. I don't know why that's there. So if you look at this um, portrait over here, you can see this is ha um, not Hailfire Peaks, but Freeze Easy Peak from Banjo-Kazooie. And if you go over here, you can see that there's a snowman this from Freeze Easy Peak. Man, I love it when games do stuff like that. It's just really cool. It just is. So it leads us with five jiggies, right? I don't know why I keep on checking. Okay, decent progress. Progress is decent. So now we go over here. Go over here. Where is over here, Joe? Somewhere. So I think I want to bring Mumbo over here now. Because I can revive the kids. But do I want to do that now? is the question. Oh, actually, before I do that, um, I should have done this earlier. Can I do it, though? No, I can't, because I need Mumbo to do his thing. Now, the cool thing about this world is this is the only world where it works. Now, look at this. Okay, the Wumba's tent is like this, right? Now, once we go inside, we're gonna go inside like this. Stupid dragon tricks our kids. And we can go over to the left here, and we can go over, and where does this lead, you may ask? Well, it leads straight to Mumbo, which I don't know how that works, but okay. <laughs> Magic, that's what that is. So let's go over here. Let's see. Mumbo, Mambo, Mummy. Dude, talk to him. Dude. Can I not talk? Okay. Welcome again, Bear and Bird. We're not having the same conversation. I don't care what you say. I really don't, to be honest. You want Mumbo's help? Yep. We need all the help we can get. <laughs> Throw it in my bag. And we can get it done. So now we're Mambo. We're Mambo. And there's actually a little bit of dialogue if we go over here. Like, if this is your first time going into Wumba's hut as Mumbo, you get this little cutscene here that happens. Wumba's big wom. Mumbo not welcome. Leave now or be in big heap trouble. No! I'm gonna swim. Mumbo get, of, get out of pool. Nope. I love the pool. Okay, let's go. We need to do stuff as the Mumbo, as Skullboy over here. So let's go over to two, 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 two. Who cares about that thing? Let's go over to the icicle, the icicle, the ice block. I think that's what it is. Ice cube. Now, once we do this, this will like tell us where all the kids are. Are I think, or I think it just revives the alien down here. I'm not sure. Hope this works. Life force, alien dad. That's cool. Life force. Mumbo has, like, some pretty cool spells in this game, not gonna lie. Big drop hurt lots, where am I? You dead. <laughs> okay. Didn't need puny earthling magic, could have used special powers instead. Yeah, dude, shut up, you were dead. What special powers were you gonna use? Okay. 
That's just really stupid. It's like, dude, you were dead. What magical powers could you have used to bring yourself back to life? But whatever. So we're going to go over to... Actually, I think there's one thing that I can do. Like, one more that I can do is Banjo. I mean, Mumbo. And then we have to go back to Banjo. Do what we have to do. Go back to Mumbo. And do it again. So it's, like, really tedious. But... This is the tediousm of the game, and it just, stuff does not go how it should. I don't know how that alien baby just appears there randomly, but okay. So what should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Let's go over to Boggy's place. Because Boggy needs to be loved. And ow. Although we're not going to do anything with Boggy. We are, however, getting Jiggies relatively quick, which I didn't think I was going to do. So Mumbo, why does it seem like Mumbo's walking really slow? I'm not exactly sure why that is. But oh well, let's just go up here. Mumbo, like it seems like Mumbo jumps like a lot, like good. <laughs> he just jumps really well. So if we go over here, there's another pad. Let's see. Hope this works. You know it's going to work. Life Force, Saber Man. This guy's actually cool, because I believe he had his own game at some point. Like, a long, long time ago. Years. Years and years. Like, I think it was 1980 or something. That he was in a something game. <laughs> Many thanks, young sir. Well, I've been frozen in there since 1984. Well, dang. Mama thinks seeing crit Wait. Well, that wasn't English, so I didn't want to try to say it. The name Saberman. Adventures in my, is my game, or at least was in my game. <laughs> Did he just say what Cable Man? The cursed Saber Wolf chased me all the way here, where I was frozen in my tracks by the Ice Dragon. Well, I didn't know that Ice Dragon could do that. And I didn't know the Ice Dragon was a lot was around for that long. That's kind of incredible. But oh well, I don't. I guess that dragon doesn't age. <clears throat> so let's go back to Wumba's wigwam because we have to change to Mumbo to Ma I mean uh, <laughs> Banjo and Kazooie. If I say Banjo and Tui, I mean Kazooie. Her name's not Tui. It's Kazooie. It's only called Tui because it's the second game. It's like how there was supposed to be another game called Banjo-3E, but it never came to be, and instead we know it as Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, the game that Microsoft completely ruined. It's not even a Banjo-Kazooie game. Man, that game really annoyed me so much because it's like when I the first time I played through it, like it shows you all your moves inside of a box, and then like they get thrown away. Like, why would you do that? That's <laughs> that would just crush everyone who is a fan of Banjo Kazooie. It's just so bad. Wumba's Big Wom, yes, yes, yes. I still don't see how those two places are connected. Look, there's no possible way that Mumbo and Wumba's places are connected. It's just not possible. What Joe says goes. So let's go over here. How much health do I have? Okay, only three. I was gonna say YOLO and just take damage, but I'm like, nope. I don't, don't don't have that much health. Dude, come at me. Finally. Why do I have such low health all of a sudden? Like I've like I'm running around doing stuff with like three health and stuff. It's like what? Haha, <laughs> get wrecked. So this alien is saved. He has a Jinjo doll. Thanks, Earthling. I like his voice. That he can go in the water. Why can't I? Let's get this thing right here. Now I can't wait till I deal with that dragon. So I had to scratch my <laughs> whatever. Unintentional damage for the win. This guy respawned, which is kind of stupid because you can't see him. So it's like, wait, yeah, you can. You just gotta zoom out and not be an idiot like me. So let's go over to Mambo's place and see what we can do. What we can da. Jump, jump, jump. 
Best commentary ever. Wait. Can we do that though? Hmm. Yeah, wait. Actually, 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 actually. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> I just thought of it. Yes. Dude, get unstuck from there. That's how bad are you? Wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot to break the ice. If I came back here as Mumbo, I think I would have screamed. Like, no, without breaking that ice. So let's get this thing, because we actually need it. Well, if I had life extensions, I wouldn't have needed it, because I'm pretty sure I would have gotten, like, two or three life extensions. So let's break this ice. <laughs> What's wrong with it, <laughs> Kazooie? Beats me. You could try beak to mouth. Um, okay. Beak to mouth. Do it. She has a helmet on. If you take the helmet off, she's probably going to die. I assume it's a girl because it's wearing pink. Who says pink is only associated to girls? I don't know. Associated with girls. So anyway, let's go to Mambo's place. Mumbo. I want to go to Mumbo. Mumbo is so cool. Mumbo. Mumbo. That's how I'm going to say his name. Not really because that sounds stupid. Just go to mum. No, you don't jump in his chair, silly. That's what he does. You wanna? You want Mumbo's help again? Yep. I want your help? I know I'm kind of doing this out of order, so I'm kind of making more trips than I have to. But if it gets the job done, then it gets the job done. That's all I really care about. Still not sure if I'm gonna 100% complete the game, cause I think you only need 90. Well, only. Yeah, I think you need 90 Jiggies to complete the game, because you need 90, I think it's 90, to break the spell leading up to Grunty's castle in far, far away land. So we go up here, back to where we rescued the, whoa, daddy alien. I don't know why I said daddy. <clears throat> daddy in voice crack. Hope this works. Life force, alien child. Now the next child, there was a child like that was that looked like he was freezing or she or whatever it is. I like the eye color. That's really pretty. Thanks. Oh, I thought I said thanks you. Thank you, Earthlings. Not all brain dead. Man, you get everything from your parents, idiots. So did not mean to do that. Ice physics. No. So let's go back to the thing, and that's gonna be it for this episode because I'm already at like 24 minutes. How does such thing occur? How? Whatever it just does. So, um, I guess in the next episode, we will... I don't know if I'm going to go for the next child or if I'm going to go for Saberman. Maybe, most likely Saberman, because that's um, easier to get to. So, in the next episode, we will do that. So, see you later, and goodbye.